Hi all, welcome back to Odo 16 development tutorials. In this video, let's discuss how to add for loop in Odo 16. Mainly, a for loop is used in Python for iterating over a sequence, that is, either list, tuple, and or dictionary. In Odo, mainly a for loop is used to solve some errors like the singleton error. And usually the singleton occur when a method requires a single record but it have multiple records. On that case mainly the singleton error occurs in order. So let's check how we can add a for loop in order. So for that currently in my uh, school or student model I have a on change function. In this on change function I just defined a variable record which searches all data, all, 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 all records in the restaurant partner model. And then let's just print this record. It searches all data inside this model restaurant partner. Let's try to print the name of each partners in this print name using this record dot name then we can see a singleton error will occurs because on this record dot name we expecting and the each name of the partners but it have multiple records on this record that's why a error will occurs i will show you how this error occurs for that let's go to the ui the school management so here we can see while we Click on this create button, the expected singleton will occur, which shows the restaurant partner have this, this much of records. And then when we call only a single uh, name of that student using directly using record.name, it will occur the error. So in that condition, we need to add a for loop. For example, for reckon record. Then let's print rec.name then let's open the student form so here we can see it's on changes works and on that name either each student's name will be print out so in these cases in Odo we iterate that particular record using this for loop. Also when we check this uh, compute function you can see here I just defined a compute function that is compute age in order to calculate the age of the student from the date of birth. On that case also we need to apply this for loop. the compute method is failed to assign school or stu student because directly we can't apply that particular object so on that ca case also we need to apply for a for loop because we need to iterate the world records in a loop when i iterate it through each loop Based on this apply date of birth, the age is calculated. On, on, in order to solve these errors or in order to overcome these uh, conditions, we can use for loop in Odo, which iterate over through the records or the data that we needed. That's all about the idea of how to add a for loop in Odo 16.